What's up guys, you're watching Ty's iPhone Help. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the new iOS 4.3 firmware. Uh, this is using Red Snow and this is finally untethered. There is Mac and Windows versions, so everything is good to go. So, first off, let's talk about the devices that this works with. You're going to be able to jailbreak the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, only AT&T model, so if, you're, so if you are using the Verizon iPhone 4, Unfortunately, this is not going to work for you. iPod Touch 3rd generation, iPod Touch 4th generation, iPad 1, and Apple TV 2G. Uh, the lower or earlier model devices, the reason it doesn't support it is because you don't have 4.3 software available for your device. So, this jailbreak is fairly simple. Uh, I will have the link to my website where you can download everything in the description right there below the video. Just click show more. It's like a little blue text below the video down there and you will see uh, my link to my website and you can download everything. I'm going to be doing this on my iPhone 4. As I said, this is Red Snow. You're going to need to go ahead and download Red Snow. Uh, go ahead and unzip it. Uh, again, this works on Mac and PC. Right now I'm doing it on my Mac. It will basically be the exact same thing on your PC. Uh, and then you're going to need to download the firmware for your device. So it should come out looking like this. Uh, the firmware.ipsw. If not, just rename the .ipsw uh, from .zip. Sometimes it does do that. Alright, so go ahead and open up the Red Snow folder. This is actually fairly simple. Uh, you're going to need to be already updated to 4.3 on your device. Let me go ahead and type in my passcode there. Go ahead and open up Red Snow. It'll be in that folder. And uh, now we start the process. So let's go ahead and do this. So first thing, we're going to have to go ahead and hit Browse right here on Red Snow. And you're going to have to select the firmware that you downloaded, the one that's for your device, the 4.3 firmware. Right there it is on my desktop, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I'm going to wait a second. It's going to process my firmware and get everything ready for me. I will come back once this is done. There we go. It's actually done now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit next. It's going to do all this for you. So just uh, be patient. And I'll come back once this is done. And there we go. Now it's done. It only took a second. All right. So what we're going to do here is actually select the options we want for our jailbreak. There's not really actually any to choose from really uh, at the moment. Just go ahead and make sure install City is checked. None of these you need to worry about. Uh, at the moment, there are no custom boot logos uh, for this jailbreak, but I'll take that for an untethered 4.3 jailbreak. So let's go ahead and hit next. Uh, the next step is turn your device off. That means hold the power button on top and go ahead and slide the power off and give it a second to be turned off. Go ahead and make sure your device is plugged up all the way to your computer and uh, everything is ready to go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put our device into DFU mode. Immediately after clicking this next button, it doesn't have to be exactly like that. I'm going to go ahead and, and run down the steps with you uh, really quickly. So first off, once we hit this next button, it's going to start counting down. So if you need to, you can just sit back, try this over again, turn your device off. Uh, just give it a few times. Sometimes a lot of people mess up putting your device into DFU mode, but it's actually fairly simple if you follow directions. All right, so hold the power button, which is the one on top of the device here. I'll actually take my case off to show you what it looks like if I have to. That little button right there on your device, depending on what device you're on, it will be different. So hold the power button in for three seconds, then continue holding the power button and press the home button in and hold them both in at the same time for 10 seconds. Once you're done with that, release the power button, the one on top, and continue holding the home button down here at the bottom. And then uh, it will be in DFU mode and you will have to do it until I tell you to. So just keep holding in that home button uh, and do that until I tell you. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next here. You don't have to follow along with it. Just make sure you're doing it uh, as it's telling you. So let's go ahead and hit next. Three, two, one. Home button. Did not release the power button. And we're five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Release and continue holding the home button until I tell you to release it. And here we go. It is doing its thing. I've still got my home button held in. It is uploading the RAM disk. You should get this little picture here on your iPhone or device uh, rebooting. And now you can go ahead and release the home button. You'll see all this scrolling text. Don't worry. Nobody is hacking your iPhone or whatever. Uh, it's actually doing the jailbreak process. Uh, so just be patient. And there we go. It is now installing everything. So once that's finished up and you're back to your lock screen, you should have City on your device. You can go ahead and enjoy a jailbroken 
iOS 4.3.1 device. Hopefully this helped you out. If you have any issues with it, please be sure to leave some comments below and I will try to help you guys out as best as I can. Also make sure you check the description uh, and there will be a link to my site and there will also be some notes below the video. Just click show more again uh, and you'll see all the notes uh, to help you guys out like if there's any bugs or issues with this uh, or anything extra I didn't put in this video that I can give you guys uh, to help you out I'll put that below the video in the description if you enjoyed this please be sure to click the like button below the video I really appreciate that and it really helps me out uh, to do these videos like this for you guys and to stay up to date with the new jailbreaks for when the iPad 2 and the iPhone for Verizon jailbreaks come out make sure you hit the subscribe button above the video and that will let you know on your YouTube homepage <laughs> when there is a new jailbreak or any kind of video that I post out. Or you can like my Facebook fan page. That is an easy way to get my video updates to your Facebook because you're probably not on YouTube all the time. So that way you can get them as soon as you check Facebook. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.